was Brum's day for exploring the big town. He brum, brum, brummed his way along the pavement until he came to the crossing. Lollipop lady! Lollipop lady! Oh, Brum! Didn't see you there. Stop! said the lollipop lady, and a big crane drew up. Safe to cross, Brum, she said. Hi, Brum, said the crane driver. I wonder who I'll meet today, thought Brum. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Ladida. Oh, hello, little car. Uh, perhaps you could do us a little, little favour, please. Dar's picnic things were very heavy. Brum just had to stop for a rest. And guess what? He saw his friend, the crane. I was as strong as a crane, thought Brum. Hi, Brum, said the crane driver. Hello, said Brum. Come along! At 
last, Mr and Mrs Lardida chose the spot for their picnic. to sniff the flowers. Oh, you! Little car! Get off the grass, said the grumpy park keeper. Oh dear, not a very good day so far. But then, what do you think he saw? That's more like it, thought Brum. Come and join in! His fault. He didn't do it on purpose. It was an accident, said Brown. That is a very dangerous dog. And they told the park keeper all about it. Dangerous dog should be taken away. said Brum. We'll follow them and see what happens. Brum just wasn't strong enough. But he knew someone who was.
thanks, mate, said Rum. WPC Truncheon arrived, ready to arrest the dangerous dog. It's in here, said the park keeper. I don't see a dangerous dog, said WPC Truncheon. Mr. and Mrs. Ladida couldn't understand it. And WPC Truncheon gave them a proper telling off. Oh dear, thought Brum. Fancy calling me out over nothing. Thanks, Brum. It's okay. Please to help. Thanks, Brum. Bye, Brum. Bye. And off he brummed all the way home. <laughs>